Okay, we are back. Uh, time to, oh god, so much we need to do. We've got the quests, we've got some skill points to spend, we got some trees growing, we need to plant more. Actually, let's go plant these trees. we got a bunch of oak trees. Those planted. And then we will start looking at what quests to do next. Oops. There we go. Oh wait, we also had um a seed or two, right? I think we had a wheat seed. Or did we toss that out for other stuff? Not we did. Okay, anything else to plant? I guess not. Oh wait, you want to grab this? The coal. Get that cooking up. Uh, you're not supposed to be in here. I forgot to clear these out from the last runs. Or from uh, before I restarted, so. We are not keeping that. It's not fair. Bye. There we go. Okay. Let's find this. Get our farms started up. So I'll put you there. Alright, let us see. Alright, we've gotten the chromatic iron. Complete vault stone. The next step to your adventure is finding yourself some vault stone. Vault stone can be found inside raw vaults and has a 10% chance to drop a chipped vault rock when mined without its silk touch. Now is this gonna count if we just go pick up some uh, vault cobblestone. Since we did mine a bunch of it. That. Does that count? No, it does not. We have to actually mine it. Alright. So that is the next goal. We'll leave that in there. Let's go down, get ourselves a new crystal, and immediately pop back into the vaults. Oh no, not yet. We need that. We got skills. We got some skills. I have an idea of a build I want to go with. But I want to try some of these new abilities as well. So. First one I want to get is... Oh wait, what are, the, what are specializations for Toad? Hatred. Uh, an area that does a minimum percent of your damage to all mobs in a range on a delay. Oh. That's kind of nice. So we got shell. Give you hardened skin and chance to stun mobs when you get when getting hit. Okay. Wait, what is this one? Wrath? Increase damage to all players in range. Spirit generates mana of all players in range. That one's actually pretty good too. But what we're gonna for sure get dash next and go down to warp. So dash normally we you know we dash forward. Uh but warp, we shoot an arrow. Kind of like a ender pearl, and we teleport to the spot that that hits. I like to do that specialization, and then um, where is it? Stonefall. They changed. There is only one level, two, one or two levels of it. Uh, but can reduce uh fall damage, and then you can also do have it do uh, surefoot which uh, will deal damage to nearby mobs. So it'll reduce... All right, no, is it that or cold snaps? Cold snap was freezing. And Surefoot will do like a, a Nova around us. Maybe 20% of our damage. So the damage is based off the full distance and multiplied by your weapon. Not sure if that's good to get just yet, but um, no, we're gonna save Surefoot or the uh, Stone Ball. So I would like to get Javelin. So summon a magical Javelin to hit your foes. Oh, it costs two. Ooh, it's expensive. 
So we'll learn that. And then we have piercing, which will go through multiple foes. Scatter, which will... Um, basically, they'll split apart and bounce between enemies. But the one I really want to try out is Sight. Summon a magical javelin to hit your foes from afar. It deals an amount of damage based on your weapon damage and scans the area in a radius on impact. So it'll do it'll do a small amount of damage, but it will highlight stuff. It'll highlight chests and mobs in an area. So we're gonna try that. We're still not going with a bigger heal for now. But that's okay. We'll we'll deal with it. All right, into the vault we go. Book of vault number three. You know what we meant? We should have uh, made a vault crystal to see what we needed to focus on. Yeah, oh well, that'll be fine. So our goal right now is vault stone. And we have forgotten to grab marker blocks. So we'll just use this again. Where's our jam? So two monoliths again. So like if I do... Let me see how this looks. Oh, I love that. That is cool. Oh, a miner. Hi, undead miner. Cool. Alright, we completed the Vault Stone quest. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna get more, eight more chipped Vault Rock and reward, and then Vault Rocks. The chipped Vault Rocks you found are used to craft Vault Rock, a, a Vault Rock, which is the base ingredient for any Vault Crystal, which in turn are used to open up Vaults. Craft the Vault Rock by combining four chipped Vault Rocks with one Chromatic Iron Ingot. Tip, if you ever need recipe assistance, we'd recommend to use the mod JEI to search recipes on the right-hand side of your inventory. Oh, and they'll give us a bonus one, too. That's cool. Um, we don't have any wood on us, so let's just continue on. We should hopefully find some wood in one of these tunnels. Okay, there's a monolith right there. I thought it'd be tricky with the jumps. Is this an ore? Oh, it's an it's a ore room, maybe. We haven't tested this stuff. So we go. Oh, wow, that doesn't fly very far. I guess we're going to need to level that up a bit. <laughs> right, let me look at that real quick. So, force, that's why. Okay. So, unless we until we leveled up, it's going to not be super. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. All right, I get you. I get you. Uh, we should be able to get some wood here, and then we can make this crystal and get ourselves uh, another quest completed. Where did, oh, there it is. So 
what we need is four of that. Um, those don't burn, that's right. So all, all we do is just... There you go. Quests completed. Gotcha. Don't give us another one. There we go. The Vault Altar. Now it's time to craft your Vault Altar. Placing your Vault Rock on your Vault Altar is how you obtain your rest, your recipe for crafting a Vault Crystal. Oh, gives us a button for it. Wow. Okay. Continue on our stuff here. There's diamond down there. There's iron right here. Second monolith, hell yeah. Ah, good morning, man. Okay, what I want to do is back here. Fight all you punks here. You got a problem over here? Let me help. Good more living chests there, which is good. Uh, let's get rid of that. 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 Right. That. Oh, shoot. Wait, is there... Oh, there's a dungeon back there, I think. Oh, there. Oh, how did I miss that? That's dumb. I'm dumb. <laughs> so there is some kind of thing back here, right? Hi. How y'all doing? 
I'm not going to dungeon, but useful nonetheless. Oh, shoot, I did it again, didn't I? Really gotta stop doing that. Yeah, here we go. that um kind of want to hold on to that more than anything all right so let's go put a new chest up to dump our stuff into then we'll do a second vault and then count up the booty Let's get our quest, what quest we can get done first before we go into the vault again. So the vault altar. Not require a vault altar. So let's just pick this, pick that back up. Oh, we got a second button. Vault crystals. The time has come to forge your, your first vault crystal. Every recipe is different and the amount of required ingredients will slowly scale up as you craft more crystals. Using a vault rock on a vault altar will identify the items required to complete the crystal recipe. You can submit items to the altar by throwing them out of your inventory near the altar. Once the altar recipe is finished, applying a redstone signal completes the crafting process. If you struggle to tell what an item is, you can crouch to view its name. Wait. Oh, is it giving us... It's giving us a shulker box. Well, that's nice. All right. Put that down. Put that down. Let's go grab ourselves a crystal. Or a uh, vault rock. Oh, that's okay. You know, we're, we're, we're leaving it there. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we should have one here. All right. Let's see if we can do our third vault or our fourth vault as a full vault. We we can get that. We just need to make it some shears, and we have some leaves over here. Do we have any iron left over? Yes, we do. Here we go. Get ourselves. So we needed some uh, rotten flesh. We needed some dirt. 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 There's some leaves. And what was the last thing? I missed what the last thing was. Emeralds. All right. Emeralds time. And we needed three emeralds. Let's go get ourselves some leaves. Oop. More trees growing. Look at that. Ah, 
That should do. Alright, so you want some leaves. We'll go this first and then that. Some dirt. There you go, that's everything. Apply the redstone signal. And our first vault crystal. Heck yeah. Now we have our first joker box. Better enchanting. In Vault Hunter, the enchantments are a bit different than in vanilla Minecraft. Protection and offensive enchantments have been disabled in order to allow higher scaling of defensive and offensive attributes down the line. There are, however, some enchantments that work both on vanilla tools and gear, as well as vault tools and gear. The vault enchanter is your go-to table for enchanting any gears or tools. It will always offer the max available enchantment for the cost of some emerald and XP. Uh, craft one and try to put any enchantable item in it. So we need a vault enchanter. Vault enchanter. What does it take to make one of you? Oh, we need... Oh, we need enchanting table. Do we have enough to make an enchanting table? We probably don't have... No, we should have enough to make books. We did grab some paper. We did grab some books. That's good. Three of these. We're going to want some of that wood we got. We should have two of the obsidian. The diamonds. And then what else do we need? Chromatic iron blocks. We should have that easily. And another book and two emeralds. Okay. Books, okay. First things first. Boop. Boop. Two more obsidian. We should have that obsidian. All right. So we want six, because there's two for the uh, vault enchanter. Start with this. There we go. And then this. Oh, what are we missing? Oh, yeah. Chromatic iron. Which we should have enough cooked here. There we go. And one vault enchanter. Where do we put you? Why don't... Yeah, we're going to put you in the captain's quarters, but where? Uh, well, why not right here? That way it's right next to our desk with more books, see? Ooh, I like this. This is new for update 9. So if we do like that... Oh, nice. That's actually really nice. Okay. Can we store emeralds in here? Yes, we can. So I'm going to store, store the nice emeralds in there for now. Alright, we have vault boots. This is the first thing I want for my setup, which is we put in the boots. Oh no, we can't store. Well, we technically can store emeralds in there. Only up to a stack. And we just swap it in and out with uh, whatever vault gear we're trying to, to, to work with. <laughs> soul speed? What is soul speed? Excuse me, why don't we have champ descriptions here? Um, we're going to want feather falling, which will give us it's one level. Uh, depth strider is movement in water, which is not as important anymore. Uh, we want unbreaking, that's for sure. And we have one more. Uh, yeah, we'll do the depth. Uh, what is soul speed? Hold on, what the hell is soul speed? It doesn't tell us what soul speed is. Use me? I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go to the Vault Hunters Discord and go, what the hell is soul speed? Like there's a hot fix out for pressing hard hard crashes. Oh jeez. I don't let the inner dragon cause crashes. Well that's great. Lock my table isn't dropped and broken. That's that's not great. Mount the is not giving the same things as description. Okay. Soul speed. What is soul speed? 
Oh, duh. The, for Soul Sand. And that's only going to be useful in the Nether Vaults, and I don't like the Nether Vaults that much. So we're going to go... Actually, we have Unbreaking on that. Let's put Unbreaking on Helmet. I think Helmet will be good. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's go put this stuff away. And then go see what other nice things we've got. Okay, what's next? So we got some enchanting bottles. Better health potions. Ooh. Vault potions are an out-of-combat alternative to the healing abilities. They are the only type of potion that doesn't anger Valera inside the vaults, which reduces healing efficiency by 20% each potion to a maximum of 80%. So be sure to use these over their vanilla counterpart until absolutely necessary. Vault potions are new for, for Update 9 as well, and I've been really interested in them. Vault potions have a set amount of uses to be used each vault, completely refilling itself once you have exited the vault, and can be upgraded through research, allowing effects to be applied onto upgraded potions. There are vials, potions, mixtures, and brews that can be crafted with two different implicits. One that recharges the potion mid-vault by activa actively killing mobs, and another that passively recharges over time. Okay, so vial. Aww. Hold on. Let's see, there are... Vials, potions, mixtures, and brews. So, what is a... Oh. Brew? Okay, so they're all start as vials, I guess. Let me get what we learn there. The first is every five minutes. Oh, that's nice. What do we need? Oh, God. Oh, I see. It, it's going to give us the recipe for all of them just looking at vial. That's actually pretty nice. I like that. I like that. So we need a red mushroom, which we do not have right now. Okay. <coughs> so we need a red mushroom. We ha We can basically get everything else. Okay, we need... Sand and red mushrooms. So that is our next goal. That is our goal for our first actual vault crystal. So here we go. Okay, again, we need mushroom and sand. In we go. All right, mushroom and sand. Uh, we should probably get ourselves, uh... Oh, wait, wait, more. Get ourselves a nice shovel, just so we can quickly get the sand. We'll just leave that there. We don't... We're not gonna need it more. Probably won't need it more. Probably will need it more. We want this down the center. That. I heard I heard the spawner go off, but wait, here. I wanna know. Does this also highlight coin files? No, it doesn't. Okay. Interesting. Wait, does this thing highlight objectives? No. Just chests. Oh wait, you know. Be cool is if you hit it with a javelin and it uh it turns it on. <laughs> That. 
that um, we should get this out, just fill it up. There's my unobtainium. Look at that. Oh, look, there's money down there, too. Heck yeah. Oh, wow, look at all that. Is there something hidden in here? Hold on. Yes, there is. Oh, hello. How did I miss you? All of that. Well, oh. all except the uh, nuggets. Is this X marks the spot? Yes, X marks the spot. These changed, and I don't know how. I do not know how these changed. So this is maybe going to end badly. But you know, we'll find out. Sure, we're going east. Ooh, our first burger piece. Nice. Or room. Ah, oh, we don't really got room right now, man. What a mess. Okay, I'll probably grab a slot. That's a bit.
just fine. Oh, it's a village. Okay, so we don't really need a vill- Oh, oh, we do need carrots. Potatoes. Thank you. So carrots and potatoes. We need some beets. Come on, you've got to have some beets here somewhere. Alright, I don't think there's any beets here at the moment. We don't need that. We need that. Uh, the bulk cobblestone we can leave behind. You know what? Copper we can leave behind, too, for now. Wait. Let's deposit this directly in there. Okay. If we went east, we need to go this way now. Right side should be closed off. Yes, it is. Okay. On. Uh, is this another special room? Oh my god, it's another X marks the spot. I don't. Yeah, I don't have the time. Sorry. Wish I had the time for that, but do not. Heck yeah. All right. I'll set all this into our chest and then we will sort the booty. So I want this out of there. Oh, we're going to need another double chest, aren't we? Yeah, we need another double chest. Now we have a shulker. First, let's get the stuff out of the shulker box. These down here. It is loot explosion time again in the rain. Boom! Boom! God, look at all this. Ooh, we got an augment, crystals, we got a helmet, chest plate. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to take this time to sort through this, and then we'll be back with the uh, sorting of the booty. Be right back. Okay, we can now sort through our booty. Count it up. Starting with the copper. Then we got the iron. Just going through our vanilla stuff. A good amount of gold. Redstone with quartz. Amethyst. Gonna definitely need more emeralds to, to enchant more of our gear. So that's the that's what we're gonna need villagers for now is getting emeralds more than getting um, the enchantments themselves.
Lots of netherite scrap and ancient debris. And two full netherite ingots. So we'll see if we can't make a smithing table and get get our... No, wait. We don't need to, to get a netherite sword up because we, we should have... You can see up there at the top of the thing a, a blue gold sword. It's going to be really helpful. We got an enchanted book too. Not as important anymore because of the uh, vault enchanter now. Lots of chromatic iron. Nice. And raw carbon. We're always going to need a lot of raw carbon. You know, for chromatic steel, which we're going to need a lot of it as well. Lots of magnetite. And of course, a vault plating. And vault dust. A couple of vault nuggets. Don't really have a full vault ingot yet. We got one Benitoite. And actually no Laramar. We got more Sparkle Time than we get than we got uh, Laramar. Which is amazing to me. We did get a ton of Vault Bronze. Some Vault Essence. Knowledge Essence. Starting to collect that. Single Regret Orb from our Monolith Crates. Super helpful. Single Eternal Soul. We're not going to bother with Eternals because Update 10 is supposed to focus on Eternals and completely redo them because they are a bit broken right now. They're, they can be a bit overpowered at the moment. Burger Patty. Still no Burger Bun, though. We should have a Burger Bun right now. Not that we're going to be eating burgers. We're going to save those. Bunch of chips, vault rocks. And a whole heck of a lot of soul shards. I don't know why we got so many soul shards here. We got a bunch of vault tools. We got like three shields. Uh, we actually got a magnet, which I'm happy about. And a vault sword. We'll see what those are after we finish going through the booty. We got a bunch of armor to start putting together outfits. We got a bunch of jewels too. Single blank seal. And I think, oh yeah, one augment. What was our augment? Our augment was cave. Oh, okay. You know, the basic one. <laughs> And that's everything. All right. Now, we have a lot of things to roll. So we're going to start with the vault sword. I would like to replace our current sword. Here it goes. Come on, something good. Gladius sword. What do we got? Bonus nether and undead damage, so nether mobs like uh, piglins and stuff. We got a fear cloud that could help. Uh, attack damage. Okay. Yeah, it's much better than our diamond sword. Okay, let's go with the shields next. Can we get something other than a scrappy, rusty one? Oh, we got a gold plated door. That's nice. Seven thorns damage, five percent thorns chance, and eight percent block chance, and crit resistance. You know what? I'll take it. Next, we'll get uh, the scrappy armor pieces going. What do we got? What do we got? 
It's all scrappy, except for this, which is... Nope, that is scrappy, too. Um, we don't have a chest plate yet. Plus mana and knockback exists. That would actually be nice. Now, our last two things will be our better chest plate and our magnet. If there's anything we enchant with the few emeralds we have left, it's going to be the magnet with unbreaking. Oh, good lord, look at that thing. Golden Royale. Health and armor and item quantity and rarity. That's a nice little treasure suit there. The magnet, just a whole ton of durability. Oh, I like that. Let's equip that. Actually, no, we'll leave that out of there because we're going to go grab our emeralds. Emeralds, emeralds, emeralds. There we go. We just need five y'all. Go over to our nice vault enchanter. And the only thing we can put on it is unbreaking. There we go. That will last us a good while until we can find a non-gray uh, rarity magnet. Let's see, we're going to dump all these into here. Any good jewels? 25 is not bad. I prefer to keep anything under 30. 47. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, 10%. 10 picking, that's nice. Uh, no, jeez, two 10 pickings, really. Oh, uh, God, all of these are pretty terrible. All of these are pretty terrible. Oh, well, though, that's good, though. We have... Uh... Oh, wait. Before we go, before we end the episode, it is time to look at our skill points and our first... Uh our first expertise point, the first skills. Um, what would upgrading Javelin do? Upgrades the radius and faster cooldown, but we kind of want to... What does it take to undo Javelin? So, shell javelin would take. We oh, can almost do that now. We just don't have the empty flask. Oh, and we need three more Benitoite, because that was a that was an extraordinary, right? No, it was a perfect. Which we use for an uh, So don't quite have that yet. Not quite yet. That's fine. Because I do want to, I do want to try the um, scatter instead. So I think for sure we're going to upgrade dash ones. And do we want vein miner? Uh, we kind of do. We kind of don't. Oh, what is smite? Right. I strike a mob in range. In general, 13%. Voltage for a percentage of that's going to be interesting, but I don't know if that's what I want right now. Um, so I could improve on Javelin a bit. For now. Yeah. We'll go with another one, Javelin. Oh. We're maxed on Javelin. It can go to two. I see. Huh. So that is maxed. Okay. Alright. So now it's like that. Okay. I get you. I get you. And now our expertise point. What do we got? Trinketer. Chance to not consume your trinkets, so we don't have any trinkets, so it doesn't matter. 
Uh, Mystic can resist a crystal instability when wiping crystal away lowering chance. Oh, that's nice, but that's going to be later. Fortunate fortune levels. Oh, God, we can go to plus two. Oh, that is super useful. But so is Bounty Hunter and Artist. Oh. All of these are really useful. So I'm debating between User is going to be good when I hit like level 20, start getting those going. The lucky altar is going to be when we get higher level because it's going to cost us more and more to make vault crystals. Experience is not as necessary now, I feel. It's nice, but not quite as necessary. So we're going to do fortune. We have fortune plus, plus one, so that's good. All right, that's going to be this episode. There we go.